And notice how powerful this prayer is. It says, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will. You know why this is so liberating? No longer my will, no longer your will, God's will. Do you realize the problem of many Christians? You know why you don't have joy? Because you want to be in control. You want to control people. Friends, you better realize you are not in control. The earlier you surrender the control of your life to our Father who is in heaven, the more joyful you will become. Instead of fighting people, you say, Lord, this is what I want, but it's okay, not my will. Example, Jesus. Look at his prayer. Mark 14, Abba, Father, Daddy, Papa. Wow. Look at his prayer. All things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet, not what I will, but what you will. Beautiful. I love this prayer. Most of us don't pray like this. Do you know why you fight with other Christians? You know why you fight with people? Because you cannot have it your way. I've discovered it's not my way. My way is not important. His way is more important. And if God's way is most important, I surrender to Him. I do my best. But sometimes what I want may not be what He wants. Sometimes the board may overrule me. That's fine. I tell women, I tell children, you appeal to your father. You tell your father. But if your father says no, so be it. You ask God. You see, this prayer will really change your life. Lord, my priority, your glory your kingdom, and your will. And you will only know the will of God if you study the Bible. So this prayer, thy will be done on earth, means you are committed to know God's will. You are committed to surrender to God's will. So my friend, do you have unanswered prayers? Yes or no? That's okay. What will you say? Not my will, but thine. 